I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for January Sagittarius. Now your month ahead, your recent new moon in your sign. Okay, so this is a time where you need to just stay positive and believe in your dreams. If you didn't get your goals set um, last month, then this is a good time to do it. Okay, now when you set your goals, it's like just sending it out there to the universe to say, look, this, these are my intentions um, and this is what I would like to happen. And uh, I love that term that says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So. You know you can always change them too I mean nothing set in concrete I mean and if you look back at the goals or resolutions that you made even a year ago you probably think differently about them now so it's just a good idea to get things down um, you know get it down on paper and so you have like a starting point that you can use okay to change so with your recent new moon that was in your sign that indicates that you are now like in the new cycle um, so it's not only the new year it's also like a, a new cycle that recently um, solar cycle that you recently commenced for you now career and money and a money discussion this month can be let's say encouraging so the second house which is all to do with money um, and the new moon on the 11th and venus in your um, second second house as well on the ninth of the month all indicate that there's some movement uh, coming up with money okay and positive movement so um, get set for discussions to be happening in that area which can bring something new into your life now love and romance Venus is in your sign till the 9th of the month so certainly for the start of the month it's still one of the periods in the year where love can just cross your path just that little bit more in, intensely now Jupiter is, is still sitting in your seventh house this is your house of love and partnerships um, and all relationships now it's there for another six months right through to the middle of the year it has been retrograde and it is stationary to come out of that retrograde movement at the end of the month on the 30th so things can start to let's say gather momentum this month um, in your personal life and certainly to do with love and start to get to come together more at the end of the month okay you have more of an idea where you're heading now my angel advice for you this month is to just stay the course okay so um, just you know you make your plans set your goals if you haven't already stay the course and just be careful to stay away from pessimistic people who just love to dampen your spirit you're one of the most optimistic signs of the zodiac Sagittarius and you need to have people around you who, who share that optimism and belief in life okay now don't forget to go and have a look at your 2013 report if you missed it in the paper then it's on video and also on the jenniferangel.com pages on the new york daily news site so love and luck to you i'm jennifer angel thanks for watching